Getty Greg Clark, L., and Carlos Tavares delivered speeches during a news conference at the Luton plant The immediate future of Vauxhall's Luton production plant had already been secured after PSA announced plans to build Vauxhall's new Vivaro van model at the site from 2019 onwards, but in a major boost to the UK car production industry. PSA yesterday revealed plans to produce the next generation of the Citroen Dispatch and Peugeot Experts vans at the Bedfordshire site. PSA Chief Executive Carlos Tavares commented, This is a major milestone for the future of the Luton plant and a key enabler to serve our ambitions in the commercial vehicle market. He noted PSA's expansion plans came down to a decision between France and the UK but noted the company's Hardain plant in France was already running at capacity, with no room to expand. Business Secretary Greg Clark welcomed PSA's long-term commitment to the UK, describing the move as a vote of confidence in Vauxhall's highly said workforce in Luton, irrespective of concerns over Brexit. Gettys previously considered production plants in Germany. Poland and France Vauxhall's decision to invest in the UK is testament to the world-renowned expertise of the British automotive industry and workforce Theresa May PSA had also considered production plants in Germany and Poland, but decided on Luton as it already has a van painting shop. Prime Minister Theresa May welcomed the company's commitment to the UK, saying, Vauxhall's decision to invest in the UK is testament to the world-renowned expertise of the British automotive industry and workforce. Mr. Tavares stressed that clarity surrounding Brexit negotiations, and assurances from the UK government it is seeking frictionless trade with the EU, has given the firm the confidence it needs to invest. PSA is expected to invest around £100 million in the Luton plant in the coming years, and aims to produce 100,000 fans a year at the site, up from 60,000 it made last year. This comes after the UK government ploughed in £9 million of public money to seal the deal and facilitate the expansion. Mr Clark added, this investment in upgrading the production platform will safeguard and grow jobs, ensuring the plant is well positioned for future growth. Gadipsa is expected to invest around £100 million in the Luton plant, and increase van production to 100,000. The investment is expected to safeguard the jobs of the 1,400 Luton employees for at least 10 to 12 years, and Unite Union believes the expansion could create 350 to 450 additional jobs. Len McCluskey, the General Secretary of Unite, tentatively welcomed the Luton expansion plans. Mr McCluskey said, Clearly the idea that this plant now has a vehicle with a 10 to 12 year shelf life and could create 350 to 450 new jobs is a huge plus. But we want to make sure we have similar assurances for Ellesmere Port. Despite the proposed expansion in Luton, PSA has announced 650 jobs cuts at Vauxhall's Ellesmere Port plant, where Astras are made and 1,300 staff are employed. Mr Tavares said the final decision about whether to keep this plant open will be made in 2020.